Um, so when you're setting up a Ubuntu system to be a miner, there are a few things that are um, that are easy to go wrong, uh, which aren't clear, like how you fix them. So the first one, the one I'm fighting with at the moment, is there's three cards, um, but they're not they're not all mining at the moment. So a good way of troubleshooting that is with this command, uh, lspci. Uh, you can just run it on its own like this. PCI like that. PCI. Uh, this will then list like everything that's on the PCI chain or something. Um, so that's including like the the processor itself and like your sound cards and stuff. But that's not super interesting because you're really only interested in um, stuff that says VJ. So here you can kind of confirm that. It's seeing like the two Radeon R9 cards, the two ADXs, but it isn't seeing um, the um, 270, uh, which is weird because it was before when it when it was on one of the PCI slots. But anyway, that's one way you can figure out kind of what's going on because even if the drivers aren't installed, it should be able to still identify what the card was. Um, the other thing that's really confusing is da, 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 da. perhaps it has the card there so you seal your cards but it isn't actually using the card for mining uh, even if you do adapt or all or anything so this normally is because the xorg config file isn't set up to um, to know about your extra cards uh, so a way you can check if that's happening you can do this like hey give me the temperature of see this adapter all so this one's bringing back a reading from um, from both the cards that are kind of working so that's what you would expect I mean if it was all working then there'd be three cards um, but often what I've seen is it'll only show the result from one card and then it will say failure getting it back from the other card so if that happens uh, there's this other command mm -mm. Okay, so if you do, uh, you have to do it as super user, but ATI config, then force it to use all adapters, and then say initial. Um, this one's also a little tricky because uh, what, what it does is it sets up your xorg file, which is just um, like a settings file that you can mess around with yourself. But it tries to like initialize it, but it has strange behavior around um, if the file is already there or if the file is invalid. Um, so I think if it's invalid, you can add the dash F, which forces it uh, to do it even even if it's invalid. But what I find works better is just um, make a backup of the file, but then completely remove it and let it do this. Um, then, so you can troubleshoot it. If you just log out, you don't need to like reboot the whole system. But if you just log yourself out, um, and then log back in again. That should be enough for it to redo the settings and then you can confirm it's working with the um, get temperature thing. Um, so hopefully that stops a bunch of you getting stuck.